In today's video, I'm going to be showing you trade secrets that are going to let you upgrade your heroes a lot faster in Clash of Clans. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Town Hall 13 Let's Play series. I'm your host, BD Legend, and in today's video, we're going to be giving you amazing secrets to upgrade your heroes a lot faster, as well as showing you guys me myself upgrading my hero to the max Town Hall 13 Warden level, which is level 50. Before we go ahead and get started, however, shout out to the following subscribers that are on the screen right now. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by all the videos. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and show you some of the progress that we've made on our Town Hall 13. It's been about 2 months and a week now, and we've finished all of our offensive upgrades. All of the barracks, everything like that. We've done also about 125 walls. We've done every resource upgrade except for the new ones that just came out, but we're gonna get to those soon. Right now I'm focusing on traps and core defenses. We've actually done the eagles, the scatters already, so we are moving along in the core defenses as well. So how do we upgrade heroes fast in Clash of Clans? Well the number one rule is always keeping your heroes down outside of Clan War Leagues. You should always have at least three heroes down, ideally your Warden and two Dark Elixir heroes. Always have two Dark Elixir heroes, doing three Dark Elixir heroes is extremely difficult, but at least have two down at all time. If you do this, you'll be able to actually progress really really fast through the levels of your heroes and gain at least five levels even if you're free to play outside of CWL every single month. The next rule to upgrade your heroes fast is to focus on one hero at a time and obviously you're going to be upgrading many heroes but you want to make sure that you use your book of heroes on only one hero. Let me go ahead and explain why. If you use your book of heroes on one hero you're able to finish that hero first and what that allows you to do is to focus your resources and your time onto the other heroes as well as free up your builders. In the long run this actually makes things a lot easier and allows you to go into wars a lot faster. I'm actually going to be upgrading my warden to level 50 right now so let's go ahead and do that. It's really amazing having a max level warden and he gives a huge eternal tome boost to your attacks so it's an awesome feeling finally getting him here. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about another way that you can upgrade your heroes faster. If you use your builder potion when your heroes are upgrading, you actually get hero value out of your builder potions. A lot of players might not be able to do this or may not be doing this because they're just not aware, but this gives you really good value because it allows you to upgrade more than those 5 heroes every single month if you use every builder potion that you get while your heroes are upgrading. So this allows you to get through those hero levels just a bit quicker. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into some of the ways that you can upgrade your heroes faster if you're not a free to play player. So if you are a free to play player, you're free to listen of course, but this might not be applicable to you as much. The first thing that you want to do if you have any money to spend in the game is to buy the gold pass. The 20% reduction in the building costs as well as the building time is going to allow you to do a lot more heroes in the same amount of time as free to play players. You'll also have an access to a free book of heroes as well as some building potions as well so it is going to help you quite a bit. The second thing that you want to do is you want to buy books of heroes in the shop offers if they are valued at under $5. What I mean by this is if for $5 you get two books or something like that then each book is $2.50. So that is a better opportunity for you and a better way for you to use your money. Since Books of Heroes are 500 gems usually anyway out of the trader, you want to make sure that you buy them for less than $5. This will give you the best value and it is the best way to spend your money in Clash of Clans. Free to play players also should try to save up your gems so that you can buy Books of Heroes from the shop. The more Books of Heroes you guys have, the more useful it's going to be in upgrading your heroes and as long as you're using those Books of Heroes after you pass the Town Hall 11 level 50 limit, then you're using them to really really good value. And the last but most important tip that I have for all of you is to never give up upgrading your heroes. Your heroes are going to be the main source of your attacks at Town Hall 13 and 14 and they're really really important. I know it's a grind and I know it's really tough to do but just remind yourself that as long as you keep to it it is definitely going to be worth it and it's going to make you a lot stronger of a player. If you guys want to see a side to side comparison to my Town Hall 13 progress as well as Kenny Joe's Town Hall 13 progress since I'm not free to play and he is free to play do let me know in the comments section I can make a video about that as well. Thank you so much, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.